song, sing it with me. I wanna rock with the dudes up here. It's no excuse. So baby, tell me what you do. Hey, hi, we're here, Russell Con. It was amazing. It was great. I'm here for two days. Welcome to Five Minute Mondays, Paving the Way Podcast with my host. Oh my god. At least you're laughing. So good to see you. Great t-shirts. Oh, trashy shirts. Yes. Get them. They're coming to you. Are they going to be on the website? On the website. Yes, they'll be available on the website. Yes, very excited. So, so much has happened this weekend, yeah? Yo, yo. You saved my life. I saved your life? We're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about that in a minute. So, okay, so let's back up a little bit. Um, from when I first got here. So I went to Seattle. I did my signing, which was phenomenal. Unlock the con. And I um, came in and I did some interviews. And then we jumped right into, thank God for your connection with Sam. Sam We went Roberts. to the comedy store with Not Sam. sam mania sam mania Was, I mean, follow that, Cena. Good luck. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that was a good show. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was a really good and show. And you still can see me. No. Okay. So... There was amazing people there, great artists, a lot of WWE, great seeing uh, Kathy. Yes. Kathy Kelly, Kathy Baron Kelly, Corbin. Baron, oh, Dolph. Baron Corbin. Corbin Close. was you really good. You always got heat with me. Yeah, but he was really good in that one. He opened up in a way that I just don't see him do in interviews. No. He was way out of character, but really self-aware. It was so cool. Yeah, a lot of fun. He was. I always have a great vibe with him, you yeah. know, rapport back and forth with Corb. Um, I ho- really hope they give him a, another chance and they give him a great push yeah. because he deserves it very, very much so. I'll call it now. L.A. Knight versus Baron Corbin next WrestleMania. You heard it. Yeah. Okay. Those so, two. Yeah. 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 Hmm. So we started with Sam Mania. Great time over there. Yep. Yes. And then... Came right over to WrestleCon the next day, yeah? Yeah, so WrestleCon was on Friday and oh, Saturday. That's a good point. Right? I don't even know what day it is. Yeah, anymore. me either. So, anyway, Friday and Saturday. And so, I will tell you the people, the amount of people, we were at the Millennium Biltmore Hotel. Yes. And the amount of people on like three or four different levels with gold rooms, crystal rooms, this room, that room, it was incredible. So, yep. we got here early, we unpacked, it was 8 a.m. <laughs> Um, it went really smooth, actually. Um, the Ubers yeah. were crazy expensive, $70 one way just to go 10 miles. I mean, come on, guys. I'm yeah. going to start calling the yellow taxi again if these guys don't come off their shit. It's not cheaper anymore than oh, the taxis. It's, really? You might as well. Yeah. I, oh. When I moved to New York, I started going back to taxis. Come but, on, Uber. Yeah. You could do better. But we had the most amazing Uber drivers, I will tell you. That. Yeah? Yes, they carry on the conversations. It was good. We... Uh, we, we spoke about crypto. We were talking about, I mean, so many great things. So, I mean, yeah, they were very talkative mm-hmm. and we learned a lot. And then he finally realized, he kept looking in the rearview mirror of his Tesla going 100 miles an hour. And he's like, are you all under blaze? And Alan started laughing. And, and yeah. he's like, holy, and he's going all over the road. And Alan's like, man, she'll give you an autograph. And no. I was like, almost losing it. Get us it. there, safe. Get us, just get us there and I'll give you an autograph. Yeah. So that went well. And then Friday, um, I just saw all the amazing fans and all the great talent that was there. It's good to see a lot of the legends in um, the Hall of Fame. Oh, my gosh. I didn't get to see it because we had our premiere, our premiere for our series, The Champion, by Mike Mars Entertainment. It was so, what did you think? I thought it was a gem. You did? I I think that there's a lot. Like, I know they're going to start sending it to, to... film festivals to start yes. trying to get it picked up for like a major series out of it mm. and i think that oh it'll get picked i I'm, I'm i'm hoping of course but i think there's a real gem in there like i mean it was just so good so well put together that like i mean it was the best video resume i've ever seen really i went there was wow. a, a few of them a few of the actresses who i recognized when i walked in and thought oh yeah i've seen serena, them do some stuff. Got serena De, yeah serena de la renta de la renta she was oh my gosh what a great little actress oh, yeah. and little wrestler yeah fantastic <laughs> yes. and then after seeing that clip i was like i gotta give a picture with a couple of these women because i'll never be in the same room again they're doing you never so know good. you're the producer of medusa uh you, you never know who oh, you might write i'd be a gaffer Hell, you even got your picture with rick flair i did the drip baby the drip yeah he'd be dripping He's be driven. Absolutely. Anyway, so the Hall of Fame speech, I, I got to say, um, I was really impressed. Uh, Mick Foley, Tori Wilson, and um, Stacy Keebler. Congratulations, oh, Stacy. Uh, looking beautiful like you always have. And those legs from hell. Oh, yeah. my God. Hello. Yeah. And I, I always said to her, like, hey, you need to insure those legs. 
with oh, Lloyds of London because yeah. I mean, how, I think she did. I'm not sure. I can't. Don't quote me on that. But hell, I always said, man, you need to insure those legs because they're like from yeah. the ceiling to the floor. Was well, it what they gave a? A measurement is it 44 inches or something like that? were they really something like that yeah oh my gosh like, incredible insane. so um uh she'll be that's I mean, taller than yoda it's a, <laughs> no kidding yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're yoda oh okay anyone's taller than you marsh so um yeah and thanks for the shout out babes i mean um yeah i was tough on you during the training it's only because i saw potential and i was hard on tori too because there's potential I was hard on everybody, you know, yeah. um, because, you know, if you're just there, you're just there and no one gets better. Right. I feel like that the good teachers and trainers I've seen and heard from are the ones who are tougher because they see something there. If, if they if they're not taking an interest in you enough to be there tough, you go. then they don't see anything with you. Amen. It doesn't mean and you won't works. succeed, but it does mean that, like, yeah, you're on your own. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean? And it was so. Um, and it was great. Thank you so much. And uh, congratulations again, Stacey yeah. Kubler. Very well Congrats. deserved as everybody that has stepped in the ring. Yeah. Um, let's see. And then um, Saturday, we had a great lineup. Oh, my gosh. I ran into Sunny Ono. I ran into um, Randy, Cody, Cody's um, wife. Um, yeah. There's just a whole bunch of Mickey James. And oh, so, yeah. I mean, it, Mick Foley. Gosh, he wrote the blurb and read my book beforehand, before it even came out. So He was so excited to get that in his hands. Oh, yeah. I, know, I feel a lot of people. And May from NWA, the voice of NWA, just on the cover of Playboy. And um, she just came running down. It was so good. So, yeah. so good. I call it N.W. May now. N.W. May? N.W. May. N.W. Yeah, May. because she's the voice. <laughs> N.W. May, I'm going to it's going to be the new t-shirt. I'm going to get yeah. that NW man. We're going to fight for that. Yes. So, um, and Saturday was incredible. Just like, you know, meeting everybody, seeing everybody and hopefully still advocating for a bull Nakano return. Yes. Not so much maybe in the ring, but we need her over here doing yes. a little tour. Maybe I'll get her over here in a while. And, uh, we'll, we're going to keep pushing for that since Muda went into the hall of fame. First Japanese, I believe. That's so I far as I know. Japanese ever, as far as I can know, I know or remember. Um, but I, we need to get that woman Japanese in there, even with the Jumping Bomb Angels and the Glamour Girls. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, I'll keep advocating for the women before the Attitude Era. Nothing against the Attitude Era. Trish, Lita, yeah. nobody. They, they're well-deserved. Great women, great entertainment, great everything. Yeah. But, damn it, I'm going to yeah. be that advocating girl like they are for theirs, yeah. for mine. Yeah, yes. how did the Attitude of Garrett get there? How did we get to the Attitude Era? There was a lot before the era it. era before the Attitude Era. Yep, that's the <laughs> yes. one. And we got to get to them, God too. God bless it, yeah. So, um... Get them while yeah. you can, too. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. in this day and age, you don't know how many days you got. So get the ones from before previous eras, before you're getting everybody who's yes. in their 30s. You yes. Know what I mean? <laughs> yes, I know what you mean. Yeah. Well, again, guys, it's been, it's been incredible. Um, and so, WrestleMania? Yep. Oh, boy. Oh, yep. boy. You stay tuned, because I think we have... A lot more to say on that. Okay? I have a feeling we're going to have a lot to say about that. I think we do. And I just want to say real quick, the Andy Kaufman induction oh, with his geez, family was so course. sweet. You have a tattoo of him. I had to say it because it was so nice. I've been trying to get a hold of Michael Kaufman. Yes. Not easy to track down. The Maybe fact that WWE need to, did. Need to. I'd like to. Okay. So we'll you see. never know what we might get. I'll keep digging. Dig, baby. L O U, right? Yes, L O U. Part of this, if you read it, recorded and mixed at what does that say? Who owned that? Prince. Oh my gosh!
Call me Queen of Carnage. I will beat your ass. This is my time. Busting doors, breaking glass ceilings. And I like to play. They used to call me a lunder blade, but not anymore. I am Medusa and always will be Medusa. And that's what I think of the woman's championship belt. Oh, hell, the mother trucking queen.